Hello and welcome to iRacing in VR. Today something very different. I'm having a look at the ghost feature of the game. This lets you participate in races, learn tracks, learn your lines, experiment with setups without actually being seen by the other drivers or causing them to crash. So let's see what this feature is all about. Right. So we're going to have a look at uh, a very, very, very um, special feature of iRacing that not many people know about. Not even those that actually play iRacing don't know about it much. Um, and it's ghost participation. So when you're on the main um, guide here, let's just make it a bit bigger. There we go. Uh, we're on the main race guide screen here in the, in the basic user interface. We're not using the beta user interface. We're using the main one. Um, and this lists all the races that you're currently interested in. You can see the grayed out ones, the ones that are already in progress, and the ones in green, or the ones in color, the ones that are coming up, the ones that have little steering wheel, or ones that you can race in, the ones that have a, a basket, show that you need to make purchases in order to participate. Um, so we'll have a look um, for... This is one here at Lime Rock Park in the IMSA. Um... Okay, so I'm interested in Lime Rock Park. The race has already started, but I fancy practicing Lime Rock Park, but I want to practice with other racers. If I practice by myself, if I just select IMSA, uh, it'll change all the items up here, so it changes to the course and the Corvette, and it'll let me practice on my own. But I want to practice with the other racers, but I don't want to see... The um, I don't want to crash or ruin their race because I'm, I'm not really that very good on this track in this car. So I go to find official races. I come down to watch crew, uh, ghost crew or spot. Come over to road race series and it will list all the road race series that are going at the moment and it will tell you the status. So here we've just got Skip Barber. That'll start at quarter past. That's in practice. We've got Pro Mazda. There's a time trial going and practice iRacing Spec Racer Ford, that's open practice. Classic Lotus is in practice. Radicals is in practice. V8s is in practice. Production Car Challenge is in practice. Blimey, nothing's actually racing at the moment. I want to get down to, here's a race, um, Mazda MX-5 Cup. There'd be lots of rookies playing, Grand Prix Legends. I want to get down to IMSA, and there's the race just here. So if I come across... There are 30 drivers in this race and two people watching. So I click on that and click on watch now. And it says, if you want to uh, drive, which car do you want to drive? So I've got the LMP Chevrolet, uh, the Ford GT, GTE class, Ferrari 488 GTE, Porsche 911 RSR. And I've, there's two GT3 cars, the Mercedes and the Audi. Well, I, I fancy having a little practice in the Audi, actually, because I'm not really that good in the Audi. So we'll click the Audi. Preparing session in the top here. And when that says watch, we click into watch. Joining session, it'll ask me if I want to do it on the rift because I'm in the rift. And from that point on, we will go into the rift. So now it's going to load the track. And the next thing we'll see is the basic track layout screen. So here we are um, in the race screen. This is Lime Rock Park. I can watch any of the drivers. If I go to the camera, let's go to gyro. So here we are with Schumann Frillick. If I touch my space bar, I can get rid of the uh, user interface. So I can go to any of these drivers, click on the helmets. He's in a Mercedes. But if I want to join in, I come up to test drive and suddenly, I'm in my car on the track. Um, just get a little bit better. There we go. So let's head out on the track 
and join in with the others. So I can join. There's traffic behind. Keep your wits about you. And I can take part. Clear on the left. And the cars can just go straight through me. They can't see me. Left side. They're clear on the left side. My spotter is still working. And I can practice with all these guys. This is a really pokey little track. Especially over this hill. There we go. So let's get a few laps in here. Oh, 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 oh. So it doesn't matter if I crash because I can just reset. Engage the limiter. Hey, you can see the car behind me actually saw me there. Do I get to request a new car? No, I can just carry on as I was. So, off we go again. And you can just crash as much as you want. Car approaching, watch your mirrors. He's gone a bit wide there. Left side, clear on the left side. Porsche RSR and a Rothman's colours, very nice. Now I've only ever raced this in Skip Barber. So it's going to take a few laps to get used to the better power of these cars. And I'm in the slowest class of vehicle, the GT3. And this guy in front, Cameron, he's just having trouble generally. And he's in a GT E-Class the car. On the and there goes a Chevrolet, a Corvette. Right side. Right side is clear. So here we are, look, we're in the middle of a race and I'm in literally in the middle of a car. And so I can race and I can practice my lines. He's a GTE car. It's just the Aldis and the Mercedes that are GT3. So I can practice my lines. See where they're braking. Whoa! That um, bend has a real camber over there. And if we go again. There's a car behind. Take care, rejoin him. Left side, clear on the left. Another LMP Corvette prototype. Left side. Another Porsche. He's on the left. We're clear on the left side. Left side. Your left is clear. So this is amazing. I don't know any other driving game. There's lots of driving games that let you watch the race that you're not participating in. But how many actually let you race? Watch your right side. Clear on the right. In a position where you're completely safe. The other drivers can't see you. Watch the right side. Clear on the right side. There's a lot of GT cars in this. He's run a bit wide. Oh, bit of a slide. Let's just slide it out. You don't get any incident points. Your eye rating is completely unaffected. Got a car on your left. You're clear on the left side. Somebody else has come off there. On the right side. Watch your right. You're clear on the right. There's a Mercedes, two Mercedes. Car on your right. right side's clear. Can I keep up with the Mercedes? This is a really short track. So I'm not going to be racing the IMSA here this week. It's just too short a track really for me to, to have any hope of doing well or staying out of trouble. And this Audi actually is 
proving surprisingly okay. Right side. Your right side's clear. Car left. Clear left. That was a big old bump. Car's a little bit beat up, but not a problem. Doesn't really affect how it handles. The wheel is still fairly solid. So it's a good job I wasn't just jumping into this race for no practice, otherwise I'd be having real problems. But as it stands, I haven't ruined anyone's race. There's been drivers going off anyway. There's a lot of cars in this race. 30 cars on this track. There's an incident in West Bend. He's on your right. Your right side's clear. Pass. The spotter must be having a nightmare with this. Because there's always a car there, then it's gone. Here comes another Mercedes. Knocking down halfway around the bend. So now I'm starting to get... Oh, 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 or maybe not. Starting to get the feel of this car. But these Audis really are difficult to drive. I imagine there'll be a Corvette coming my way shortly. What is my lap time? See if we can get a lap without spinning. Can we get a lap in without spinning? Is it actually going to give me a lap time? He's on your left. You are clear on the left side. It's got very nice traction, I've got to say. Doesn't really slide once you're in the corners. I'm not going to get a lap time, never mind. Down to fourth, halfway around the corner it tightens up, so down to third. Left side, clear left. I just need to concentrate on my own lines. It's quite hard to see that, it's a Ford GT. This is alright. Now we seem to have got the hang of the car. That's better. So now it feels a lot more comfortable. Knock it down again, round we come. That's half distance, you're looking good for fuel. And off we go. So a couple of incident free laps now. This is a really hard corner this one. Because if you're not straight, that's what happens. Anyway, let's get back to the pits. Engage the limiter. I'm 
Am I on the list? No, I'm not there at all. Well, let's go with um, who's, who's leading. Let's have a look at who's leading. Sam Dobell is leading. So this is Sam, and he's in a GTE, Ford GTE. Has Sam just stacked it? Oh, and there's me. I think he has just stacked it, you know. Never mind. So, um, that is Ghost Mode. From the main menu, select a race to watch. As long as you own the track and the car, you can participate. Um, and you don't have to worry about crashing or anything into anyone. Nobody sees you. You can just work on your lines, work on your setups, uh, have a little bit of fun, and sort of have a little bit of a race without really having to worry about anything at all. So, the ghost feature, very, very useful. Definitely check it out if you're on iRacing, and if you're not and you're thinking about iRacing, it's another feature of the game that might persuade you to, to invest in it. So, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you again next time.